Hey guys, so I'm at the Temple of Zeus, Temple of Olympia and Zeus. I just got a package ticket, and if you can see it, um, it's valid for seven different um, sites. So the Acropolis, the Temple, um, Roman Agora, a couple of other sites. I'll tell you more about them when I visit them. Hello from Athens. So I'm in Athens for a while, um, give or take two weeks. And um, I'm excited to be here. It's my first time in Athens. Been in Greece for months and never really been in Athens. I traveled through here on my way to Nachplio. Um, I don't know if you remember that vlog. I will link it up here. But um, I took a trip to Nachplio in December and I went to Athens, but I didn't stop in the city. I didn't explore the city. I haven't visited the sites, the archaeological sites, the museums, and all the cool stuff that's there. So I'm excited to do that in the coming days. My friend. Uh, Karina is joining me on Friday and so I'm saving some of the major stuff for her like the Aquapolis she was like wait for me to come and so like we can do that together but um, today I want to just go do some exploring I'm going to take you along with me I also booked a free walking tour for tomorrow that I'm going to um, show you so this vlog is Athens on a budget so I'm really trying to stretch the two weeks and kind of just see the city slowly explore the city slowly get to see the city without spending too much and so I started by booking um, an Airbnb which I'm going to show you it's really it's nothing fancy <laughs> like I mentioned on a budget so this is the room it's quite spacious air conditioning which is really needed in this heat okay there's quite a bit of mess over there forgive all that a map which is so useful and this is my balcony a bit of noise excuse the noise but yeah I just have a view of the streets I haven't really sat on the balcony to be honest because I'm enjoying the air conditioning in the room. One of the um, major advantages of booking Airbnb over any other kind of accommodation, especially when you're on a budget, is the fact that not only is it cheaper, you can get Airbnbs for as low as 8 euros. Um, this one is actually 8 euros but then when you add the service fees then other costs like cleaning fees and things like that it roughly comes to 11 euros a night but also what I love about Airbnb is I can cook for myself so I don't plan on eating out a lot unless I'm exploring and it, it's practical but the days that I am in the house because I came with my computer I'll be working from here as well um, so the day that I am in the house I'm going to cook so I went to the supermarket there's a local supermarket just downstairs and I got some groceries, I got some cereal, I got some bananas, I got some pasta, I got some eggs, I got some pesto sauce, pasta sauce. So it works out really affordable, so that's going to stretch me for like a week and I don't necessarily have to buy takeout. So that's that's a tip, like if you can cook for yourself, if you, if you really want to be on a budget and just kind of... Um, uh, live as if you were a local so that's the thing about Airbnb. Airbnb I feel like you do get to live like a local not sponsored just saying Airbnb is a great tip for exploring a city on a budget these are common areas um, that's the entrance at someone else's room and this is the living area. <laughs> we still have a Christmas tree. And there's a balcony here. Again, street view. That's pretty much it. Television. Yeah, I was saying television here, and that is pretty much it. 
Oh, and the kitchen. A little kitchen here. This is some of the stuff I bought from the supermarket. Some bananas and some cereal, pasta. <laughs> and I have, I have some of the stuff in the fridge as well. And again, balcony, street view. That is the kitchen. So that's the Airbnb. Now I wanna go because it's already midday or something like that and it's starting to get hot, I'm sure. So let's go see what the day has in store. Hey guys, so I'm at the Temple of Zeus, Temple of Olympia and Zeus. I just got a package ticket, and if you can see it, um, it's valid for seven different um, sites. So the Acropolis, the Temple, um, Roman Agora, a couple of other sites. I'll tell you more about them when I visit them. This is the first one I'm visiting, and I think I'll keep the others for when Karina gets here. I like that it's really it's really calm and breezy. I love the I love the I love how it feels over here. It, it does feel very very serene. So yeah, I'm gonna show you. Apparently there's an event happening today. There's a view of the Acropolis over there.
been the main facade or the main entrance to the library, which we can see here, that's what that should have looked like there. So as you can see, it leaps quite a bit to the imagination. You gotta use your imagination quite a bit to see uh, what the library consists of. But I would like to say this, Hadrian's library was a lot more than a library. You had reading rooms, lecture halls, there was a huge courtyard in the center with a fountain. Uh, it was a place where the Roman elite would congregate to discuss things on a philosophical level. Getting the Agora just a must be, even if people are like, I get people that aren't very interested in these kinds of things, and that's okay, that's fine, and they say, you know, which, which site did I see? Hey guys, so I just finished my walking tour with a guide, Walter, who was really helpful. Um, he showed us a lot of the sites, the Agoras, and gave me so much information to help me really understand the history of this place. I am standing right in front of the Acropolis Museum now. I'm going to head home. I'll visit the museum later on when Karina gets here. Light, light. <laughs> I'll visit the museum later when Karina gets here and we'll go to Acropolis and all those other sites like I mentioned. So I think that's the end of this vlog you guys. Thanks for watching till the end. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit the red button. It's free. Also click the notification bell so you're notified when I post my next video. I'm going to bring you more videos from Athens and other places in Greece. So stay tuned. Uh, comment and let me know what you'd like to see more of. If there's something you want to see, let me know. Give me some ideas, some tips, some things I should do while I'm here. But otherwise, uh, bye for now and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Hey guys, so a few more bonus budget tips before the next video. This Athena card is a Metro card and it's valued for the whole month. It's valued for a month, sorry. It's personalized with your name and picture on it. And this works out cheaper if you're going to be traveling a lot. And if you want to travel like a local, use the Metro, use the bus. I don't plan on using cabs a lot while I'm here. So I got this uh, card and it cost me 13 euros and some change although i did get a student discount but either way if you're going to be traveling a lot um the metro card definitely will save you some coins and then um second thing i got um a package ticket or a combination ticket they call it a package ticket for the major sites the archaeological sites that, you know anyone would want to see in Athens there's a Acropolis, ancient Agora, Hadrian's library, uh, Keramikos, I don't know if I pronounced that correct, Aristotle's school, Olympion and the Roman Agora so I saw the Olympian today that's a temple of Olympian Zeus but I still have all these others and if you are to get individual tickets to enter each one of them it works out more expensive so this combination ticket is 30 euros however if you are under 25 years of age it's free so that kind of sucked because i was like i was just 25 years old yesterday but anyway um i got the package ticket it's seven sites and valued for five days so i have the whole week to visit these at leisure and i plan on doing that uh, with karina when she comes all right, that's it.